Today we're going to talk about how AI may replace people's job. On March 21st, OpenAI and Yupeng Collaboration have a research paper talk about how their own product, GPT, may replace or influence the market of labors in US specifically. And I think this is really worth sharing because it may change your career path completely after you watch this video. So right off the bat, on the abstract, you talk about 80% of the job will get heavily influenced by GPT. And the higher you get paid, the more job will get replaced by GPT and other form of AI. The data they use is all net labor market statistic. They let GPT to try 900 each job to see how much can they replace. The answer is quite positive, but negative at the same time. The positive part is majority of people's career, they can only take 10%, replace 10%, and you don't have to do those tasks, but it still requires people behind it. Even then, 20% of all career, the exposure rate is 100%. However, this exposure rate only means half of your task will be gone. So on the essence of it, this AI only will replace tasks, but not jobs themselves. And here I will put the research paper exactly here to show you what type of job specifically will get influenced heavily. And as we can see, financial quantitative analyst, writer and author, web designer, blockchain programmers, legal assistants, accountant auditors, or even mathematicians, their exposure rate is almost 100%. Like I said, all these high paying jobs will get influenced heavily. However, we understand some of them like auditors or legal assistants. But the most interesting part is poet, lyricist, creative writers, author writers, or even mathematicians are heavily influenced. And the reason why I want to point out this kind of job specifically is because they are what we call creative workers. Before, when we think about creativity, we think there's a number one barrier for AI, that that's something that we cannot be replaced. And most people talk about AI replaced job, the most time referenced a research paper that was published by McKinsey three years ago. And they have a conclusion that creativity are the one who make people win over AI. However, right now, it seems like creativity job are the first one to go. But the question is why? Today, I'm not gonna go through specific terms and research and coding data structures. Just gonna use a simple term to describe why creativity job are the first one to go. It's because in the early stage of ChatGPT3 even, their programmer suppressed find out they have a chain of thoughts, which is the source of creativity. In another term, this AI program have ability to think. So what is the chain of thoughts? Just like wine said, cups. You may start thinking cups could made of metal or plastic. When they fall on the floor, it's easy to shatter, or it can hold liquids, waters, Coca-Cola, and I love Coca-Cola, I can't go without it. You start connecting all the knowledge together based on this term. So why does it important for creativity? Just like today's video, I got to script the video to present to you guys, to talk to you guys, to explain specific term, to explain specific knowledge, to make them into a cohesive logic plot. All of this, it take me to generate my past experience and knowledge together to present you a story of full. And if we look at ChatGPT, they can do exactly the same like I script this video. Let me show an example of how ChatGPT does it. Earlier, I asked uh, ChatGPT4, what happened if I swallow a glass cup? I'm sure nobody will ask question like this online because this is uh, not fitting to the common sense. So GPT have to generate the answer by themselves. So here is what he answered. First is potential life threatening. Second, they swallow a cup needs immediate medical attentions. Third, they talk about uh, vomiting, drinking fluids. 
Fourth, they talk about doctor may use x-ray, may remove the glass cup. Fourth, they talk about how can we prevent someone swallowing a glass cup. This answer at least make me understand, the so ChatGPT understand what does it mean swallow? What does it mean glass cup? What is the common sense of after swallowing something? What's the procedure of it? What's the example of in the past? What's the doctor? What's the x-ray? And how can we prevent it? All of this information was generated by chain of thoughts. Since GPT have a way bigger knowledge and data set, and they can connect more and more dots, therefore, they can create a bigger, better, cohesive story than all other creativity jobs. Their connection is so big, their chain of thoughts is so big, so wide, so deep. We even need another new words. If you ever listen to any GPT related video, it talk about it called prompting engineering. Basically is help the GPT to narrow down your chain of thought to become a little bit less creative, more practical. So does it mean your job is safe after this research paper result? The answer is no. AI is not gonna take your job away. However, other people will. Just like you and your colleague is doing the same jobs. If your colleague can double amount their productivities with AI helping, which means there's a less job to do and you may get fired because they may take your portion of work. Your boss look at it and say, you're redundant. One significant example is one of the most famous AI designer. He used to work in OpenAI and he get headhunt to Tesla become a chief of AI designer. Back to the ChatGPT three ages, he already published tweet talking about how 80% of his code was outsourced already. He saved 80% of the time every day that to allow him do more, research more, learn more. And in the research paper, they even specifically talk about how other people may replace your job. They give example of UI designers. UI designer exposure rate is 100% and 50% tasks gonna be gone. The people who gonna replace UI designer will be market strategists. Their job essentially will turn into UI design, front-end coding, communication with the departments, doing sales, promotions, beta testing. They will be direct responsible for the ending result. How much sale did they get? Right now, this one person may perform a whole department's job or on the essence of it, who will get replaced? If your job every day is go ask your boss, what should I do today? and you function like a tool. Someone have an idea, they will come up to you and say, hey, can you help me to achieve that? You will get replaced. With AI's assistance, the people who can judge what job should be done, set up the standard, respond for the ending result, facing the direct consequences of it, like entrepreneur or a boss, they have a better chance to survive compared to the tax executors or people who function like a tool. Most people go to school, learn a solutions while they don't even know what question they can solve. I have a little sister. She's learning math and right now she's asking, why should I learn math? What's the problem I'm solving? My parents will tell her, oh, you're not actually solving any problem, but in future, someone may need you to solve problems. And that mindset will 100% get my sister's job replaced in future. So let's look more in detail. So how can we adapt to this new working environment, become a new type of white color? And the most scary parts of the whole research paper coming up. The research paper basically suggests that Traditional way of learning will make you 100% replaced. In the same data set, the ONED labor statistic, they also calculate what scale does it take to perform certain jobs. And here, all the traditional learning skills that a people needed become a way less significant, almost doesn't important. For example, 
contrasting, active listening, mathematic, reading comprehension, speak and writing. That's the skill that we practice and learn and become a better since we start schooling till we graduate. But right now, the harsh facts is those are no longer important. A lot of people already understand this point even after internet age. For example, why good students not always be the most successful person careerly? Because those things that you practice is not significant. After AI, those skills even become way less important. Have a 4.0 GPA means literally nothing for the new HR and the new companies. So what does it take to, for you to become a new type of white colors and adapt to the new work environment? It takes scientific thinking critical thinking, active learning, learning strategy. All of those are not something that we specifically learn. For example, critical thinking. Most people understand critical thinking as I need to rethink my inference process. Or even more, lots of people think critical thinking is how I criticize others. I can see the loophole in others, but not myself. Learning strategies. People think is how I prepare for the test. But in reality, on lots of scientific education psychologies, experiments show a five years old with the correct learning strategy can learn way faster than a 45 years old. Mental capacity is not the key to learn. Learning strategy are. But did you even heard about this learning strategy from beginning to now? No, you never. Just recall your math class in high school. Lots of people struggled. You may conclude as talent. You may conclude as uh, they're stupid, whatever. But the reality is learning strategy are the number one problem why people don't have a good comprehension on math. But you never learned this before. So what are those four scales and why it's important? Why good students not always have a good result? That's another big issue that we need to discuss. I will 100% make another video of it to teach you what it is, how we learn it. But in the end, I want to mention this. If you cannot adapt to the new working environment, become a new type of uh, workers. AI only going to create more and more difficult for you. You're going to get replaced. You're going to become a valueless for companies, for society. It's only a matter of time. If all those people can turn around, can adapt, can learn better, AI will be your best friend. They will assist you way faster, accelerate you to a higher paying job. That will be all for today's video. Thank you so much for watching and stick to the end. My name is Paul. I'll see you next time. Thank you very much.